Sticks and stones may break my bones, goes the schoolyard rhyme. But if you're a dog, they can do even more damage than that. Dogs are amazing creatures, not least of which for their ability to imperil themselves with seemingly innocuous objects. While it's not likely that yours will hurt himself with something as seemingly benign as a maple branch or a riverbed pebble, it is indeed possible. Today, we will tell you about the 11 reasons why dogs love chewing on sticks. Number 11. Why do dogs chew sticks? At their core, dogs are still hunters and foragers. That's why they feel such a natural yearning to chew on sticks. Everything from a tiny twig to a big branch feels like a bone to the mouth of your pooch. So their predator's instinct tells them, chew more. Tastiness awaits. Once you've factored in a loving owner who's ready to throw the dog stick of choice, it seems like a perfect marriage. However, the simple stick can pose a series of health issues. What's up with the habit? While no one can be certain where their fondness for foraging comes from, a few theories include sticks remind your pup of a bone since they're similar in size and shape. Their wooden spongy-like texture is perfect for sinking teeth in and gnawing on. They love to forage and find treasures, and sticks are readily available. Sticks feel like a reward for the conquest of traipsing through the woods. Sticks carry a musky, earthy forest smell of woodlands and wild animals, which is attractive to your dog. One of the main drivers for the behavior may be a dog's affinity to have something in their mouth. Retrievers and lab breeds, for example, love to have a toy such as a ball or stuffed animal in their mouth at all times. They may also be positively rewarded by an owner's actions and therefore continue to do this behavior. For instance, if you've laughed or praised your pup for his great feat in carrying home a stick twice their size, he'll likely continue to do it. He loves that positive attention from you. Number 10. Sticks are a vet's worst nightmare. At their most extreme, sticks can be poisonous for your pooch. Sticks from black cherry, yew, and walnut trees are toxic to dogs and can leave them with stomach and breathing problems. Even when they've fallen from more dog-friendly trees, sticks are no picnic. They can lodge splinters in your dog's mouth, cut their gums and cheeks, and puncture their palates. It hardly seems worth it for a game of fetch, right? Number 9. Stick to toys instead. Of course, you don't need to choose between your furry friend's health and their enjoyment. In fact, you can find a barrel full of toys, balls, and doodads that are poised to become your dog's new favorite fetch object. Pet Stock sells throwable chew toys that put any stick to shame, and a tennis ball will also do the trick. Not only can these items be thrown further than a stick, they're also more fun for your dog to chew. If your furry friend is having trouble moving on from sticks, remember that treats are an invaluable teaching aid. Refuse to play with your doggo whenever they pick up a stick, then give them a treat as soon as they drop it. Before long, the message will become clear. Playing with sticks equals bad. Avoiding sticks equals good. Number 8. Dogs are foragers. Given that most of us treat our dogs like family, letting them sleep in our beds or taking them to the groomer or doggy daycare, it can be difficult to remember that dogs descended from wild animals. Their ancestral instincts, whether out in the wild or at the dog park, draw them to forage through different environments to find suitable food. With no other food around, even though he may have a good meal at home an hour beforehand, your dog may decide that a stick is a good enough substitute. Number 7. Dogs are curious. Canines are also naturally curious creatures and explore the world primarily with their noses and mouths. When your dog comes across a foreign object, particularly in his own backyard, it's natural for him to smell the item and if it smells safe, to explore further by chomping down on it. While this sort of exploration is more common in puppies, 
older dogs also often rely on this one-two punch of sniffing and biting. Number six, sticks are nature's chew toy. It can be hard for dogs to differentiate between gnawing on a stick they found or on a bone or chew toy you've given them. After all, sticks are similar in shape and size to many chew toys, and dogs are drawn to the earthy, natural taste of the stick. Even more confusing for your dog is when you play fetch with a ball or toy one day and then use a stick the next. In fact, your dog may seek out a similarly sized stick on every outing. Typically, it's the size they like best, whether gigantic, barely there, or somewhere in between. It's what's comfortable in their mouth as far as diameter, weight, and length. Number 5. Separation Anxiety Does your pup only chew objects to the point of destruction when he or she is left alone? If so, your pup is likely experiencing some sort of separation anxiety. This anxiety is manifesting itself in the form of chewing on anything and everything that is available as a way to relieve the stress of being alone. To resolve this issue, start by leaving your pup alone for short periods of time in a crate with their favorite toy or treat. This will help him associate you being gone with a happy place filled with his most prized possessions. Number 4. Hunger Pups that are on calorie-restricted diets might chew on objects in an effort to try to alleviate their hunger. Have you ever had a sudden feeling of frustration when you haven't had enough to eat or are trying to stick to your summer diet? Hangry is a word that comes to mind and it can happen to dogs too. This is not to suggest that a calorie-restricted diet is bad for them. You and your pup's vet know best. Just be aware of any chewing behavior changes when your pup is on a diet. He might start to think that your throw pillow looks like a giant hot dog. It could be the hunger talking. Number 3. Puppy Teething the first six months with your puppy can be extremely eye-opening as you realize just how much stuff you have laying around your apartment that looks like a fantastic teething toy. Try giving your pup ice cubes, frozen wet washcloths, or frozen chew treats to help numb their gums while they go through this painful period. Your house will thank you. Number 2. Why Sticks Can Be Harmful So. Is it okay for dogs to chew sticks? The answer depends on what your dog does with the stick and what kind of wood it is. While chewing wood can alleviate teething pain, eating or swallowing it can have dangerous consequences. Sticks can be choking hazards. Chewing on a stick that splinters can result in sharp points lodging in your dog's mouth or esophagus and causing tears or infections. Sticks that are too small or swallowed completely can get lodged in the throat and result in obstruction or infection of the respiratory tract. Sticks that make it past the respiratory tract into the stomach and bowels can result in irritation, bleeding, or obstruction. Number 1. Train him to leave sticks alone. As with any other behavior issue, stopping your dog from chewing and eating sticks involves patience vigilance and positive reinforcement. Dog proof your yard. Remove sticks and cut foliage from the yard. This is especially crucial if you have tree species that might make your dog sick. Replace sticks with a toy. When you see your dog about to chomp down on a stick, use his or her favorite toy as a distraction. Come prepared with proper fetch toys. When taking your dog out for a walk or some exercise, Bring along a fetch-appropriate toy so you aren't tempted to pick up a stick to throw. Chewing is natural behavior for dogs, and the occasional stick probably wouldn't do him any harm, but it's best to curb stick chewing if you can and replace sticks with appropriate toys or raw bones. Do let us know in the comment if your dog also loves chewing sticks. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.